So why, why those early workarounds and accumulation of technical debt end up causing so much pain when it comes to scaling? Yeah, that is technical debt is like the, the nerdy version of uh, debt in our financial lives, right? So the sooner you pay debt, the better you are off. And the reason is, for instance, like, let's say uh, you, you, you're starting building a, a, a system and it scale up. And then eventually you were very, very successful and it scaled beyond the point that uh, your servers can contain and you start seeing like a uh, slowdown of the system. You want the best engineers in your company to go and tackle and make that system uh, more scalable, thinking about re-architecting or doing better capacity planning for your system. However, let's say that your infrastructure is very fragmented. Ten of your engineers are working on Azure Another 10 are working on AWS. The first 10 are using Java. The other 10 are using C Sharp. They don't talk to each other. They don't know the, which databases are running. So at that point, it's really hard to get the, the best minds in your, in your company and ask them to work together. Of course, they will work together, but there is so much context that they will have to learn about the new project that is really hard to, to build this, uh, this SWAT team to go and fix a problem, for instance. 